Well, I've turned the space flat in the area where I'm going to glue the body of the bowl. And I have turned the outside edge round and referenced that with my pointer. So now it is running very true on the rotating pit table here. The next step will be I'm going to glue on both this interfacing ring of veneer and the main body of the bowl. And I'm going to have to get the main body of this bowl centered by using this pointer and referencing these split areas as you see here. And I'll go back and forth between uh, all four sides to get that running true on the faceplate which will then mean it's going to run true when I put on the lathe. So let me go through that next and I'll show you how that's done. So let's get this uh, gluing underway. Um, I'll show you how this comes along. The first part of it is fairly simple. Certainly this rotating table makes laying the glue out a simple matter. I'll just uh, spread it out. And I'm going to, of course, just concentrate on the area where I'm going to put the bowl body. So that's out in here. Now I've already got a small weight set aside ready for this. And I like to put it on fairly generously, but don't have to go overboard, of course. I try and get this fairly close to even. And then sort of press it down a bit just to hold it. Because this is going to uh, get another layer of glue on it for the segmented ring. Go ahead with this. Now I'll get another layer of glue down. And spread it out. You can see this is not a bad way to get glue spread out with that rotating table. really helps you get it even. And now... Get the, this has been finished sanded on the one side and the other side has just got the extensions of the inserts knocked off. And I kind of get this positioned and I think what I'll do is I'll take that bisector and run it through the center of one of these just to give some sort of symmetry to this. And now I'm going to start positioning this. And what I'll do is I'll line up my pointer here with one of these split lines. And then go 180 degrees out and see how far off I am. Curiously, I'm pretty darn close already. And then I go 90 degrees and do the same thing. I see where it's at there. And then there. And uh, quite honestly, I think she's pretty much where I want it to be right now. Maybe this is a bit of an indication that I've done a couple of these. A uh, little bit of adjustment. Just want to keep that balance right. And then go 90 degrees again and make sure you haven't shifted too much, which I did. So you can see I'm doing like 90 degrees. And then 180 degrees, just to make sure that the four of the quadrants, now you can check these if you wish, but they better pull in line if you built a, a symmetrical ring. They are going to have to be pretty much in line if the other four. And I'm really seeing that this is kind of staying put. So I think the glue is starting to adhere to this and a little bit of shift here but overall it's pretty much where I want it yep I think we're going to settle with that now what I've got is a 
a little block of wood and a small weight. Like I said before, you don't want to use a clamp on this. And then I can check, but you see that block of wood is going to interfere with me. So I'm really kind of going to go on faith that I've not moved it since. And that's where it's going to rest. So that's the glue up method. I will use the same method on the top ring when I put this on. This one will be centered fairly close, but since I don't have any split line details or anything like that, uh, the level of accuracy in centering this is not as high, and all the discontinuities will be turned around when I turn it on the lathe. So I'll probably put that on next, and then uh, we'll go to the lathe and I'll start making this bowl. Thank you for watching.